Uh, just sitting, cooling off on the trail, sitting on a stone, listening to the birds. I invite you to listen to them as well. We have a, a warm weather system moving through, warmish. It means in, uh, instead of being 15 degrees, it's... I don't know what temperature it is right now. I'm, I'm thinking, I know a lot of people follow Fahrenheit, so, yeah. You know what? That is not a knowledge that I am uh, readily inclined to divulge at this point. It's secret. It's a mystery. You can look up uh, Parksville today, weather, and you'll see it's warm. But I realize that speaking to an audience of people, most of whom don't live anywhere near Vancouver Island, that warm is a relative term. As you can see, for instance, I'm wearing a jacket, which I could probably take off two layers of at this point. That's why I'm sitting here, to, to actually cool down, to get colder. It's easy to warm up when you've got layers on. There's a lot to appreciate in nature. Our nature, our flesh and blood. And it has a robust, vigorous language and and yes, I said, you know, if you've got children that are identifying with a teapot or Hello Kitty or, you know, Gloria Steinem's idea of being a woman or, or some kind of transgenderism, which is anti-sexual, it's not even asexual, it's anti-sexual, because there are asexual beings who can reproduce asexually, which is really sexual. Every generation is put under enormous stress and are forced to socialize under that stress and what we deem social and not social behavior under enormous stress. So just whatever you can point at, autism, cancer, you know, war, all kinds of disputes. I mean, there is a real poverty of ability, will, courage, and strength to do intellectual heavy lifting worthy of the challenges that society presents us under the power of people who have been relieved of their sex and their mind in the first few years of their life and certainly by all of what they call their education in any science or church in the world. So that puts us in a very stressful economy which is perpetuating like echoes of nomi, echoes of knowledge, echoes of our home, echoes of stress. And if you felt or you've been heir to any of it, it's asking you to do something. But the world does not give you that job to do. It doesn't have a place for that job to answer to the stress you've inherited. There's actually no ministerial position, no single industry, not a single book written about it, except mine. But let's say, let's just say for all intents and purposes, no books written about it. I don't know if any of my books are adequate to the task. But my life is that book. 